Hello friends, in this video I want to show you how you can carry out the test for toxic ammonia and ammonia. This is a kit by Sarah, it's very inexpensive and it allows you 60 tests of your aquarium water. This kit brings three regions, three bottles with regions. Bottle one, bottle two and bottle three. This reagent comes inside a flask which will be used to do the test. And it comes in the flask probably because this is a very dangerous reagent. It contains bleach and sodium hydroxide or lye, which are corrosive products. And a way hazard is for people and for animals. So we must be very careful with this bottle. It also brings instructions on how to carry out the test and also a warning about the chemicals contained in this flask and the fact that they are hazardous. Additionally these bottles have child proof caps. For those who don't know how to open these caps I'll show you because Francesca won't tell us we push the cap down while we turn it against the clock and that brings the cap off. As well, the dropper of these bottles is sealed so we have to puncture it with the cap to be able to get the drops out. We must keep these bottles on our workplace in the proper order so we don't get them mixed up. We first we use this one, then the second one, then the third. The first thing we have to do is get a bit of water from our tank, pool or aquarium. And with this water we have to rinse the flask we're going to use for the test to clean it up and get it to the proper pH similar to the water in the aquarium. Take it about a bit and then we throw away the water, we fill it up again and we throw away the water. Now we are ready to start our test. We have to put in this flask five milliliters of water in case our aquarium is of marine organisms so it has seawater in it. So we, if we're going to test seawater we need five milliliters of aquarium water. As this is fresh water we will be needing ten milliliters of, of the water from the aquarium to do the test. Now to get a good measure for the exact 10 milliliters, the best thing is to use a syringe. If it's a 5 ml syringe, we put 5 ml and then another 5 ml, we should get to the 10 ml mark. And that's it. Once we have the proper amount of water, we can start our test. We should dry the flask on the outside to eliminate the drops of water there and let's open the first bottle. Okay, we open the cap and we have to drop in six drops of each chemical of each bottle. One, two, three, four, five, six drops of bottle number one. 
we put the cap back on so they don't mix, get mixed up and we shake the liquids carefully so they get mixed up without splashing our test tubes anywhere. Once we have it well mixed up then we go to the second bottle we get the cap off and also six drops of solution two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cap back on. We shake it carefully. And now we can bring the third bottle, which also will be six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. We shake this carefully, and as you can see, it's changed colors. Now it isn't transparent and with no color. Now it's got a uh, yellowish hue to it. Now, the page of instructions brings a chart of colors and we have to compare the color of the liquid with this chart to see where it fits in. But the instructions say clearly that we have to look at the colors from above. So we put in a place where it's in the shade and we compare the colors of the liquid and the chart. Now as you can see it's a yellowish color with a very slight very 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 slight greenish hue. Hmm? However if we put it over here we can see that is absolutely different. No comparison. Hmm? So it must be somewhere in between those two colors. Once we've compared the colors, we must come down here and see which is the concentration of ammonium that corresponds to that color. In this case, zero milligrams per liter. And with that information, we have to go down to this chart here and look for the amount of ammonium on this column. The lowest level of ammonium is 0.5 milligrams per liter. So, with this amount of ammonium, we are out of the chart. But as it has a little hue of greenish in it, we should uh, consider the, the highest value, which was 0.5 milligram per liter. The pH of the water at this moment is is 7.5 and if we follow this line across to 7.5 pH here we find 0 0.009 milligrams per liter of ammonia or that would be toxic ammonia in this case it is a very low number so it is harmless and we can consider that the aquarium is in good condition and is okay for the time being. However, the pH has been rising in the last few days, so we must be careful with it not reaching a pH of 8, where it would go from harmless to harmful if we keep the animals in there for a long time. Well friends, that's all about it with this test, not much more to it. I um, hope you like my explanations on how to do the test. And if you did, remember please give it thumbs up, share it, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.